Hi, this is Dr. Nathaniel R. Laney Jr. Prince, wait a minute. Hi, this is Dr. Nathaniel R. Laney Jr., principal of the Potomac High School. Happy to see you, happy to meet you. Um, I know this is not the type of back to school night you, you, you thought you would get, but at least we are safe and we're gonna make the best out of it. So I um, wanted to talk to you uh, about back to school night and at least give you some information. Uh, Potomac High School is a school of about 1300 students. Uh, we are 83% African-American. Uh, 17% Latino. And so we are a community and we have to work together to make this virtual learning go correctly. This here is the Potomac High School website and it has a lot of information and more information is being added. If you would like to, if you go to the quick link side, you can click become a part of our Remind 101 so that we can make sure that as I send out messages, you can receive them. And if you have, as you see, you have a lot of information on here. And when you scroll down, down here to the left is the back to school night agenda, as well as the back to school night schedule. Okay, let's get into the meat of the night. So here we have the back to school night presentation. Today's Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. With that, I'm Dr. Nathaniel Arlene Jr., principal. I'm a graduate of a Prince George's County Public School, Largo High School, Go Lions, graduate of Florida a &M, uh, University, Trinity University, and the University of Maryland. I've been a social studies teacher for eight years at Walker Mill Middle and Oxon Hill High School, assistant principal for, 16, for six years at Oxon Hill High School, and the principal, this is my 14th year of being a principal, Andrew Jackson Middle, Forestville Military, and Potomac High. This is our mission and vision of Potomac High School. And parents, I want you to look there in the mission uh, at that last sentence, a culture and climate of which will be built on the foundation of mutual respect and academic achievement. We definitely are always constantly working on culture and climate here at Potomac High School. We have three SMART goals. Uh, our first SMART goal is based off of English language arts, 10th grade. And as for our test takers, they will achieve the level of three, four, or five, and uh, will increase by five percentage point. Uh, algebra one first time test takers uh, will achieve the level of three or four or five, will increase by five percentage points, and increase within a range of five to 10% percent percentage points of all students not chronically absent. My administrative team, we have Mr. Kenneth Calvin, ninth grade assistant principal, Amber Tucker as the ninth grade counselor, Sharnette Straker, ninth grade dean. We have a new team member, Yolanda Leonard Clark is the 10th grade assistant principal, Tiana Mason is the counselor, Joan Sires, 10th grade dean. Dr. Joanne Billingsley Franklin, 11th grade assistant principal, Carolyn Morell, counselor, Melissa Parrott, Latoria Okuko, uh, class sponsors, Carla Pierce is the 12th grade assistant principal. Danielle Williams is the counselor for the 12th grade. And Phaedra Burr and Deshanta Robinson are class sponsors. We also have another administrator, Ms. Crystal Bright Mundell. She is the transition wing coordinator. Attendance. Students are expected to attend class every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If we didn't have class on Wednesday and we're supposed to be in school 180 days each year, when would the school year end if we didn't have Wednesday uh, classes? You get the point. So we have classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, you may have received some communication that there are no Wednesday classes, but we have class every day. If a student is absent from class, they're expected to provide an excuse note. If a student is absent from class due to technical difficulties, email the teacher, email the counselor, email the grade level administrator. And at the last point, you can call the school. Grading. Students should submit assignments in a timely fashion, preferably before the time it is due. As you know, with technology and its glitches, you can't wait or to be too late. Teachers are expected to enter two grades per week. Parents and students will need to check each class as a system of monitoring. The end of the first quarter is November 5th and high school grades are numeric. And that means if your grade is low, 40 or below in the first quarter, then your chances of passing the class are unlikely. To ninth graders, you are used to letter grades all the way through elementary and middle school. In high school, it's numeric. So although you got it, you may get an E or a D, there's a number attached to it. So instead of seeing letters on a report card, you will see numbers. Make sure you communicate with teachers for clarity and support. Communicate with counselors and grade level administrators as you encounter challenges. 
parent teacher conferences or they will be virtual. And so you can email the grade level professional school counselor. Ninth grade again, Amber Tucker, 10th grade, Tiana Mason, 11th grade, Carolyn Morrell, and 12th grade, Danielle Williams. Listen, virtual learning is not going to be uh, as easy as it was fourth quarter. It will be every day and it's all, almost all day. So monitor your suit. Understand technology is not perfect. Patience will be needed by all. Don't let a challenge become greater than it is. Communicate with staff members. As we move, move further into the school year, the challenge will be greater because students will begin to access new material and learning. And lastly, let me say this, and I want everybody to understand, while virtual learning will be a challenge, we're up for the challenge. We're the home of the brave and challenges are just hurdles. We'll jump over them and keep it moving. I want you all to have a great evening. Make sure you visit classes. And if you have any questions, email the teacher. Thank you.